Keepers Planner Punch Board. Now you love their punch boards. They sell out every time we have a scrapbooking event, but this one is brand new. Amber Kemp Gerstel is here. Hi. You know her as the do-it-yourself blogger. She's passionate about crafts. Oh yes. And she loves her punch boards. I do love my punch board. <laughs> and we had a great conversation about this punch board. So I'm going to get you down to the nitty gritty of what this is. This is the We Are Memory Keepers Planner Punch Board. Put simply, this is a universal punch board that will allow you to punch edge holes across any paper for any size planner, for any size notebook. So if you have a several planners of different types, whether it be spiral bound, a disc bound, a binder, a three hole binder, you can use this tool to punch holes along the edge to customize your planner or notebook for anything that you want, okay? Now, yeah. and I was just hearing about how planners are not going out of style. It, it, Even it, with all the electronics with all and the, the electronics and technology phone, we right? have to keep ourselves organized, we always love to have something that still brings us back to the paper planner. So something that we can write down our notes on, but not just for that. There are so many other uses, but I want to show you what you get okay. when you order this because you guys are going to love it. When you order this, you're going to receive, first, this is the planner punch board. And when you get it, you're going to get five punched punch or punchers I guess you could call them and they're going to set in here I'm going to give you kind of the anatomy of the punch board right here along the edge are a bunch of numbers right here you can't see them because they're the same color but they are there there are numbers here and on the bottom of your punch board you're going to have a guide that's going to tell you all of these types of planners, all of these types of notebooks and binders, here are the numbers that you need to arrange your punchers into so that you can punch holes specifically for the notebook or planner that you use, okay? So I've already arranged, oops, there we go. I've already arranged these here and I'm gonna show you how this works, okay? okay. So I have right here, this is an A5 planner. It's a standard planner that has six holes. You might have a different one. This will work for that one as well. But I'm gonna take a piece of acetate. A lot of us love to craft with this and I'm going to align it. There is a edge here and then there's an edge here. I'm gonna align it <laughs> and this, I kind of call this is like a paddle punch because this allows you, you don't need to exert much pressure to get a clean punch. Then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to do the exact same thing. You know the quality of We Are Memory Keepers and therefore you know that this is not a difficult tool to use. Now I can slip this in directly into my planner. You see how easily that fit in. One of the things I love to do with these acetate sheets of paper is if you have post-its, you can stick those at the front of your planner and now you have a little dashboard for where you need to clean oh. notes or you can, you know, if you need to stick a mm -hmm. post-it somewhere else in your planner at some point in the day, you can grab one from this little dashboard that you created yourself with a piece of, a piece of acetate paper that you already have in your stash. So you can make your own pages. You can make the, your, for the planners that absolutely. you already have. For the you planners that you already have. You don't have to buy have. the replacements absolutely. if you don't want to. And that's, what, so when you order cool. the, the standard kind of configuration of the planner punch board, you're going to get the planner punch board along with five of those punchers that work with a binder planner. Now you're saying, Amber, what, wait, I have a binder <laughs> planner and I have a disc planner. Well, sister. I've got you covered. <laughs> we have over here, this is a disc planner. And with the additional upsell that we have, um, I don't know if we have the item number, but we can, you can order these and you're gonna get punches that work with both disc bound planners as well as spiral bound planners. Okay. Let me show you the, the graphic for that really quick, just so if you do wanna add okay. that to your order. It is the spiral and disc punch inserts and they're only $14.95. So you can see the different scale of those. You may or may not need that. I just wanna make that available for you. Remember, you can fill your cart and keep shopping and it'll only be $5 shipping and handling for the entire day's worth of crafting items. So, uh, don't worry about shipping and handling because once you buy your first item, you're pretty much good to go. So I'm going to, just like I said, now I've inserted my disc planners. And if you're someone who has different planners or notebooks, I would highly suggest getting that add-on. So I'm going to look down here and look at the one that I have. And it's going to tell me the numbers I need for this particular size. It's also going to tell me the size of paper that I need. I know that I need to put it at 4, 17, 29, 42, and 54. So I'm going to go right back here and I'm going to, these come out and I'm going to slip it 
right into that number four slot until it nestles in there. That's now, nice. the code's right on the back. It, the code is right there. We love to put everything that you need right there on board so that you don't have to go digging for different instruction sheets. You are going to get an instruction sheet with your planner punch board, but you don't necessarily need to have it on hand at all times. So um, I'm going to. By the way, this is really, really super popular. Her punch boards oh, go very, very quickly. This is brand new. We've never done the planner punch board before today. If you're even thinking about it, make sure you check out. Make sure you make it all the way through your purchase, complete your order. Uh, that way you're gonna get in on this. And uh, I love the color. It's a beautiful soft baby blue. It's brand new. And planners are kind of coming back into vogue and it's kind of cool because there, there is something that's so satisfying about having something physical, about having that tactile exactly. experience. Exactly. Of looking at your day, of looking at your week and actually seeing it you know, come to life and adding the coupons or adding the stickers or adding the photos or adding the pages or adding everything that you need. Exactly. And I want to show you before we run out of time how creative you can get with this. If you're not, if you're just kind of dabbling in planning and you're not so much sold on that, don't think about this as a planner punch board. Think about this as a universal way to create pages, customized pages in any of your notebooks or binders. So you can create customized recipe pages, which I loved this idea. Take a standard planner and start adding your favorite recipes. So maybe Maybe you have favorite Thanksgiving or Christmas recipes mm -hmm. that you want to either keep for yourself or gift to someone else. You can do that in here. Right here, we've created a notebook where we took a three ring binder. So notice the same punch board, I was able to punch six rings and three rings, same punch board every time. I can create a little um, notebook where I've created folders with people's birthdays. So each page is a folder where I can list birthdays and then slip cards inside. So if you're a card maker and you want to organize your cards into That's a nice a binder, idea. you can absolutely do that with this. If you're a stamper, you need a planner. <laughs> I'm telling you, if, you, if after this you are not sold on planning, totally you need, need to call planner. me directly because I will, I will convince you. Then on this one, this is a much smaller one. I just want to prove to you this will work no matter what notebook or planner you have. Right here we've created a little pocket, just punching a piece of um, like a little plastic folder and we slip some stamps inside. So if you wanna carry your stamps around with you for your planner, this is a great way to get organized. I just love how you're able to customize this. Now, I have one more, how much, okay, good, we have enough time. This is a spiral bound planner. This is actually one of my planners that I have. And one of the cool things I came up with to do is Right here we have the spiral bound planner and I do wanna let you guys know when you get the spiral bound um, planner punch, it, there's three. And each one is a little different based on how many holes per inch. So this one is three holes per inch, this one is two holes mm -hmm. per inch. And the one I have already in everybody. my machine or my, my punch is four holes per inch. What I've done is, I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but it's like a, you see those um, plastic folders, kind of back to school time, you'll see them at the, sure. they're just made out of plastic, they're like 50 cents each. I punched some holes along the edge using my planner punch board. I'm just gonna punch a few here. I created those little holes there, but wait for it, my friends. Then, I made this little tab, I just trimmed it down, you see, and I used, put, put a little hole there added some leather to it. Now I've created a custom little bookmark for my planner so I can mark off any page, any time by just slipping it down into those. See, it just fits perfectly. I'm, I, I'm kind of amazed every time this happens <laughs> because it, it works very every cool. single time. So I created a little kind of mm -hmm. custom um, I don't know, tassel sure. for, my, for my planner. And I could have done this with this planner. I could have done it with this planner and I could have done it with my disc planner. All you need to do is grab the planner punch board as well as those um, additional punchers that are the disc and the spiral okay. addition. So, so if you want the disc or the spiral, do that uh, additional item that we mentioned. But think about it, use it a few times, it's already paid for itself because you're saving on paper, you're creating your planner the way you want it with your colors, your paper, your photos all your different accessories. Look at this, you can I'm, put in Oh, like, you guys, this is my favorite project of all. If, if, if I teach you nothing else today, this is it. Okay. All right, I took a, a plain 12 by 12 piece of scrap paper. I scored it here, and then I scored it in half. I'm just gonna show you this quickly. I'm gonna punch it on one side. And basically what I've done is I've taken my plain old piece of scrap paper, and I've turned mm -hmm. it into a folder, a custom folder for my planner. There we go, oops. I just, I just 
tore everything apart, but that's okay. You we're almost under done. pressure, Amber. <laughs> I'm going to put that in there. I punched holes on the side, and now look at that. I have a custom, uh, literally with a 12 by 12 sheet of paper, you guys. I know you have one of those at home.